Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So in today's video I'm going to be showcasing my clubbing routine and the bits and bobs I do before I go out. Um, it's just basically my makeup, my hair, my outfit and basically what goes through my head before I go out. Uh, but that being said, please like and subscribe and I hope you enjoy this video. So this is what I tend to look like when I'm getting ready. I tend to just put my hair out my face so if I've just washed it it's normally up in a towel. But today I washed it yesterday so it should be fine for tonight. So I've just put it up in a little bun. Like that. Um, I shouldn't have done that, now it's getting loose, so it's gonna fall down my head. <sighs> Nightmare. Anyway, the first thing I do is I moisturize my face, so I just sort of dab it where all my dry skin spots are and where I get the little crop ups of spots. But um, I just rub it in everywhere just so my skin's nice and soft and ready for the makeup and sweat it's gonna get later on. So I just sort of massage it into my face. And then for my face, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Eye Eraser Stick, which I've literally, I live by this. Um, and then if I am still a bit shiny, I just use the Natural Collections Pressed Powder in the colour Warm. So to put this on, you literally just give it a little twist and then I literally just dot it. I like line it, I just smother it under my eyes like that and then I just sort of dot wherever there's spots. There's some there. Some there. Getting loads of my chin at the moment, it's a nightmare. Just like that. And I'm good to go. So to rub all my concealer in, I just use this sort of like toothbrush brush. Don't really know what they're called, but I just love how they feel on my face. They're so thick and I just much prefer them to a beauty blender. I'm just, I don't like beauty blenders for some reason. So for the rest of my face, like my highlighter and contour and my eyeshadow, I'm trying out a new palette from Pretty Little Thing. Um, I just fell in love with the packaging, like how cute is that? It's like holographic with unicorns on it. Like they have nailed that packaging, I love that. And what's really nice about it is the palette has a mirror at the top of it so it's like easier to put it on and it's a nice big one which is nice and then the colours just look like this oh it's falling um, so you've got like your contour and highlight ones here and then you've got your eyeshadow ones and it does come with a brush um, but I also got some other brushes to help me apply it all so this one I got for highlighter and contour and then these ones look like eyeshadow ones so using their fan brush I'm just gonna try out their highlighter um, so I've just like dipped it in. Let's have a look. That's quite nice actually. It's quite subtle. Well, not that subtle. <laughs> no, I like that. I like the brush as well. It's really soft. Just like that. I love the fact I said how amazing it has a mirror in it, but I'm still using my camera. Habit! <laughs> so I'm just going to put that on there. No, I think that's really nice actually. That's like the perfect amount, so love that. And then for the contour I'm using that other brush, which is, I have no idea what brushes are called. It's the chunky one. Um, and I'm just gonna dab it in. I'm probably gonna put way too much in and just have a brown line. Mm. So that's got the line on my face, but I'm actually going to use my other brush to blend it in. So after about five minutes of blending, I now have a red-brown cheek, but I'm sure it'll tie down in a minute. Um, so yeah, so I love the highlight. I definitely put way too much contour on, but um, I'm learning, I'm learning. So for my eyebrows, I just use this Primark 3-in-1 thing, um, which is just handy because it's got a brush and then it's got built in like a little sponge with some brown powder on it, which is just perfect. But I don't really do much to my eyebrows, I just sort of brush them <laughs> and then add in a little bit of colour where they're looking a little bit spacious. So that's them brushed, just like that. And then colour. I don't know how people have the patience to draw on eyebrows every day, like I just couldn't do it. Good. So I just dab it in a little bit and then I brush it through. Um, so that's my eyebrows, now for my eyeshadow. So for my eyeshadow, I'm going to use this brush, and it's occurred to me that every time I watch like a pro makeup artist on YouTube, they always do their eyeshadow first. <laughs> and I'm starting to realise why, because all of this powder is going to drop down my face, but we're just going to go with it and it's going to be fine. Um, so I'm just using these colours here for this. So that's my eyes done, and for my mascara, I'm just using this one from Primark, it's just like amplified. No, ampli 
eyed. They're trying to be punny there. Um, but with mascaras, I find, like, I've tried using expensive ones. Like, I used to use Benefit all the time. Um, but that was, like, £24. And it just wasn't amazing enough. Like, if it did, like, if it was absolutely perfect, and I literally had to blink, like, twice, and it was, like, boom, perfect, I would happily pay it ongoing. But it just doesn't. They're all, they're all the same to me. It's a nightmare. Um, but, yeah. That's my face done. I'm now gonna find some lipstick and then be back. So for my lips, I've gone for a nude sort of color. Just like that. So now onto my hair, and my hair just tends to do its own thing. So we, I tend to just take it out of whatever hairstyle it's in and hope for the best. I have a bit of a mad head of hair. Um, so all I do do is if it's a bit frizzy, I'll probably just rub some conditioner in my hand and run it through my curls um, or wet it a little bit. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be back. So I've just wet it a little bit and then I've got a lump of conditioner on my hand here and I'm just sort of like mixing it around my hands. You guys are probably thinking what the hell is she doing? But um, trust me, I know it works. So I literally just cover my hands in it and then I just like grab my curls really like lightly so it like goes all over it but not too heavy anywhere and um, then I start to like rub it in more once it's all off my hands and we're good to go like that and I'll probably molt a ton doing this <laughs> and all the hair starts to fall out just make a little pile on the floor <laughs> just like that I just make sure I flick it the other way as well to check they're all being well behaved which they never are. So that's my hair, now on to my outfit. So my entire outfit is from Pretty Little Thing. Um, I love Pretty Little Thing, their stuff just fits so nice and it's really cheap. Um, but I'll link everything down below in case you want to check it out. I've got conditioner still all over my hands, this is like a nightmare. I'll use my hair as a towel. It's just... It's better. Um, so I got a matching two-piece outfit and then... Is that water on my face? I think so. And then I got shoes and a bag. So I'll show you the shoes and the bag first, and then I'll go on to the outfit. Um, so the shoes come in a box like this, and inside, da, 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 they're these fluffy, sort of strappy heels, and they're so high. They're like, don't even know, is that six inches? They're just very high, and they're so cute with the fluffiness. But I've never bought shoes before from Pretty Little Things, so I wasn't sure on sizing, so I went for a six. Normally in heels I'm a five, but in sandals I'm a six, so I was like, these are sandaly heels. Go for a six, but they are too big, so I'm going to try putting like um, the gel things at the toes and the leather things at the heel to try and keep my foot in and hope for the best, but they're so cute. Like, even if I can't wear them out for long, I'm still going to wear them because love those. And then the bag, um, it's come like this, so it's all well wrapped up and if I just unpacked it. So I sort of got, it's like a quilted black bag. Um, I just thought it'd be safe to go with many outfits. And it just looks like this. So it's sort of like a satchel velvet quilted bag. I love this. Oh, it's very stiff. It's like very stiff. I don't know if that showed anything to you. Um, so it has a chain. And I thought I'd go for black and gold purely because it goes really well. And then on the outfit, there's like a gold buckle. So I thought, oh yeah. You can match. Um, so love this bag, it's just really cute. And I think they do it in a red as well. So if black's not your color, they do do it in other colors. And then the outfit, um, so it's a matching two piece. I got the bottoms in a size eight. So they just look like this. They have like this gold sort of buckle thing around the waist and they're very high waisted. And then they're just like a skinny fit legging sort of thing. And they have like darts down the bum. So I think these are going to fit really nice, but we shall see. So that's the trousers, and then the top is... I got the top in a size 10 because they're sold out of a size 8, so I was like, I can normally work a 10, so I thought it would be fine. Um, and it doesn't look too big at all, it's just this very open front sort of crop top. Just like that. Um, I'll probably wear like a bandeau bra under it because that is very open and because I went for a size 10 <laughs> it's like probably going to be a little bit big for me than usual and I don't want it to gape open when I'm clubbing. That's just not a good look. But um, yeah, so that's that set. So I'm going to go pop that all on now for you now. I'm going to go pop that all on for you now. 
That made more sense. So this is how it fits and I absolutely love the top. The size 10 isn't too big at all, like it gapes a little bit here but that just means for safety reasons I wear the bandeau underneath because it might gape being a size 10 but because they were sold out of my size I definitely think it's it's not bad, I definitely would wear this as is. Um, and I like the crossover bag because you can literally wear it three ways. You can wear it above the boobs, on the boobs, or below the boobs. So it's a very versatile bag, but I always find if I wear them just on my shoulder, they always like slip off and just annoy me. So I tend to cross them over and I think the gold goes with the buckles, which is fine. Um, and then the trousers, they fit very nice. I'm just going to drop the bag so... Stops getting uh, in the way. Um, they're a high-waisted, sort of like elasticated waistline, um, which fits my waist like pretty much perfectly. Like they're not tight anywhere, but they're not loose either. Um, and they weren't a struggle to get on. They hug all my curves. These are just really nice trousers. Like I would happily wear these, like as work trousers, just with different tops. Like they're just a really nice pair of black like tailored trousers, so love these. And then the shoes are growing on me too. They're like, they are a bit big behind the ankle here, but I think with like, those little like jelly things you can put in the toes and the leather things you can put at the back of the heel to like grip it. I think with those in, I don't think they'll be too big. So I think I can make them work. Um, if not, I'll just suck it up and buy a size five. Like it's not the end of the world, but um, they're so gorgeous. I love them. Um, but yeah, so that's my outfit all sorted. So I love clubbing in trousers. Like, don't get me wrong, I love, I love dresses as well. But you just never have to worry about like pulling them down and stuff like that. Like trousers are just, they're so safe. So love, love, love. So that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. All the links will be linked down below in the description box. Everything was from Pretty Little Thing today, so it's nice and easy. But um, no, I absolutely love their stuff, and I think I'm going to do more hauls with them shortly. So um, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.